Yo, what's up, team? Mr. Trees underscore Earth, back again with another regular video at Anime Dimensions. Dang. At this point, there's really no excuse for why I haven't been uploading. Sorry, team. Anyways, before we get started, let's go to the community poll that I posted. Alright team, so I created this post about a week ago. I was like, which one should I get? I currently have 2.1k gems as of today. Type in a number down below your recommendations. So I'm pretty sure most people voted 5. I'm just going to look through it. 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, 5, 3, 3, 5, 5, 3, 5, 5, 5, 1, 8, 3, 5, 2, 1, 5. Alright, a lot of people have been telling me to get 5 for some reason. I don't know anything about anime, so we're just going to get 5 anyway. Alright then, here we go. Alright, a lot of you people keep saying get this blue haired girl. I don't know why, so she's not even 5 anymore. She's number 6. No, we're going to get her anyway because that's what you guys voted. Hopefully I don't regret this decision, but I'm guessing at least she should be better than Ijigo. Ramura. Let me see. When I played it was an O update. Let's dash over here. Active, active, active. Wow. We got a lot of points for purchasing her, so I guess it benefited us anyway. Alright then. Let's test her out in a dungeon. I did left the link available for certain people who can join but everyone was busy so I guess I'm still going solo guys the solo series still continues oh there's two character cards I have a chance to get alright then let's just start we're gonna try out this new dungeon right here I'm curious to see what lurks in here as a solo Xbox player and get my controller ready controller has been my childhood if you guys are wondering why I always been using Xbox controller whoa wrong button it's been my childhood, so... Whoa, she is OP. Holy jeez. She just destroyed them. It wasn't even... I was just messing around with the buttons. Her magic is no joke. Dang. I see why a lot of you guys vote for number 5. But you know, there might be some better characters out there in this new update. We'll have to find out and see. Cause they're giving me quite the bust up right now. Oh, it's RT's her most powerful attack. Dang, wow. I'm I'm just shocked right now. Got some crazy OP moves right here. If I ever went in this dungeon with Ijiko, I probably would be finished. Alright, let's see this move again. She's just making it rain. Looks like she's invincible until when she falls down on the ground. So the moment when she falls down, she's left an opening. So yeah, that's... <laughs> Better be on the lookout for that. Alright, so the next wave of mobs is over here. We're gonna take these guys out. Not bad, not bad. About to get my first death. Yeah, this dungeon is definitely a lot harder than the other ones, but right now, I feel like I can still overwhelm them as well. It's probably because I still haven't got any of my cards upgraded. Yeah, I gotta fix that in the future. Too bad I can't shortcut through this, I have to go all the way back around because I'm not paying attention. Good job Mr. Trees. This is why everybody loves you, because you take two weeks to upload a simple video with only 10% of editing that nobody even watches. Great job Mr. Trees, we're so proud of you, we're very proud of you. The whole community is going to be so happy once they hear about this exposure. Alright, let's focus on beating the dungeon solo then. Oh, I don't even know why I even use that. Oh yeah, Invincible. It says it right there. Mm. But she still leaves like a two second opening though. Are those like innocent people? I don't know. I'm about to die again. Yup, died. But I killed him at the same time though. So I guess that's pretty cool. Alright. Where's the next wave of mobs at? Probably across this bridge. I'm not making that same mistake twice. Yup. I knew there was gonna be here. 
Dang, her attacks leave an opening though. Why so many people recommending me five? She's cool though and very strong for this dungeon without any upgrades, but her attack leaves an opening. Like only the last attack is really good. But then again, she leaves a two second opening when falling down after using her last attack. So I don't really know. Maybe I gotta learn a bit more mechanics in this game. I'm probably missing out. But yeah, her skills are definitely OP. I'm not gonna lie about that. Can't complain about that. Very OP. Only six minutes left on the timer too, so I better wrap this up. All right, better use all our skills. There we go. Yeah, it's best to just rush through it quickly because I believe you only get like six minutes. Whoa, that guy just shocked me. All right then, let's bust you up, buddy. Yeah, that move leaves an opening. Oh, nice criticals. All right, now we can use the OP move. Nice damage, not gonna lie. He does have some pretty good damage moves, but I'm pretty sure there's probably better characters. We'll see. I forgot too that this is easy, so his attacks are gonna be slower. Because the normal and higher on the dungeon, it's, well, hard difficulty at higher in the dungeon. They attack a lot faster. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, it's a little slower. You get like a nice good second to react. I'm running out of time though. If I don't finish him quickly, this is gonna not gonna end well. Hopefully, I can solo. We'll see. If this was an Ijiko, I don't know if it'd be possible to solo, because I still haven't upgraded any of the cards I have on me yet. I don't know why. So basically, you guys can look at this as a solo series without any upgrades. Yeah. So how I would tell my story? I'll be like, "Hello, everyone." This is how I became one of the best players. You literally just spend your gems on characters and collect legendary cards without upgrading them. That's it. As simple as that. People's gonna be like, dang, really? You a hacker or something? Or you're some kind of player with a handicap? I'm gonna be like, maybe. Alright, this move is gonna leave me open. So I'm just gonna go straight for the OP move. Try to lower all these people right here so I can get them all at once. Wow, level up twice. That's how you know this is a tough dungeon. Oh yeah, the critical hit rate is definitely increased, landing a lot more criticals. Ah, they killed me a third time. I'm definitely gonna need some better cards. That's probably my only way to get through this. Alright then, let's see. Black Lightning. I mean, for starters, even if you guys didn't pick the best option for me, for starters, at least I'm getting through the dungeon. Alright, this has got to be the final boss. So I only got exactly three minutes. I don't know any of his moves though, so... Ah, he does the move twice. And what's your second move, buddy? So you do an all-around move twice. Ouch, she caught me with it. See that two-second opening when you're finished doing the invincibility move. Oh, he does it three times. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. All right, I'm learning his patterns. One, two, three. Use the other move again, and use this move. Alright, I'm learning your patterns, buddy, but I only got two minutes to defeat you, though. Is soloing really possible without any upgrades? Only one way to find out. One, two, three. Attack! Hit him with a flare. Whoa, better be careful. I just gotta use all my skills when I necessarily have to use it. One, two, three. Use this move, use this move, then use flare. Attack him again. That was close. He almost got me. Running out of time. I only got um, a whole minute to finish this boss off.
one. No, I died. Is this the end? Is it not possible to solo while upgrading your cards? No, I refuse to lose. Not giving up until this guy is down. One, two, three. Only 20 seconds. Come on, come on. There's no holding back at this point. You just gotta beat him up. It's over. Why is the time still going down? Whew. That was close. And we got another fighter card. Level 16. Chance work. And we got an epic. Yo, I was so nervous. I thought like, I thought there was still more. I was like, no way. I say this is it. I'm done for it. GG's. This character is not that bad. What's her name? Ramura? I'm pretty sure her real name is actually copyright, but let me know what her actual name is down in the description. I actually quite enjoy that dungeon. And we still won without even having to use any of our cards. Let's see. I mean, why haven't I upgrade any of our cards? We're gonna go into bag, we're gonna check them out. We got two of these legendaries. We can get rid of we can unequip this one. Oh, uh, it's not a character card, it's a combat deep demon. Never mind. It's basically a common. Alright, where's that other um common I have? There you are. Alright, we're gonna equip you. Obviously you're better. There we go. Two legendaries. Isn't this common better than a legendary? Yup, we're gonna unequip the legendary then. As I said, not really upgrade. There's no it makes no sense to upgrade a card since can still pretty much solo. I think that's about it for this episode, guys. It's already long, but I'm gonna cut it short. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I'm gonna grind my level up a bit more and try to work my way up to the next dungeon. There goes my friend finally joining. Maybe he will be able to make it for the next episode. And I'll catch you guys in the future. Remember to always stay connected with the earth and keep on grinding. See ya, team.